Uh, we've done this here because we felt that it was, it was right that we should be at, at the scene where this the tragic murder is taking place. Um, hopefully you'll, you'll understand that rather than back in police headquarters. So uh, it may be awkward with sound, apologise for that, but uh, hopefully you'll be able to capture most of what we say. Uh, if not, we'll be happy to go through it again um, afterwards. But I'm just going to start off with Nick, first of all, to give you uh, an operational update. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'd like to start by offering uh, my sincere condolences to the family of the victim in this matter, who is 47-year-old uh, Raymond Rawlins, who is a well-known figure in the Port Street area. Uh, at about uh, half past 12 uh, last night, uh, Mr. Rawlins and another gentleman were entering the spinning wheel club behind me. Uh, shortly after they entered through the door, uh, two men exited a vehicle. To the club and gunning, gunning Mr. Rollins down in the entrance, uh, which is which is located behind me. Uh, the two gunmen then made their escape again, running back to the car, which was waiting outside for them, north along Court Street and right into Angle, where where site of the vehicle was lost. Uh, Mr. Rollins was conveyed to King Edward Memorial Hospital, where he was uh, pronounced dead uh, minutes after one o'clock this morning. A full complement of detectives uh, have been appointed to investigate this brutal murder. Uh, the family liaison officer has been appointed to, uh, to work with his family uh, and his, his children to get them through this difficult time. And uh, we will be providing uh, what information we can to them with the investigation uh, going forward. Uh, we have uh, forensically processed uh, uh, the scene and we continue to hold it, as you can see, with the officers. Uh, and vehicle which we believe which was used by the shooters uh, we believe we have uh, recovered and that has also been uh, forensically processed and those 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 um, that evidence will be sent overseas for further further examination uh, what I'd like to do at this point is, is appeal for anyone that has any information about the, uh, the incident the murder to come forward and speak to uh, officers from the serious crime unit or contact the confidential crime stoppers number in Miami, which is 800-6477. Thank you. Thank you, I said we'll take, we'll take questions afterwards uh, regarding what, what Nick has just said. Um, can, I, can I just say again, um, the Bermuda Police Service gives his heart and sympathies to the families of, of the deceased, uh, his, his mother and, uh, and children. Um, this is the, the seventh gun-related murder this year, as, you, as you'll be aware. Um, it's a sad reflection of, uh, of the times of Bermuda uh, at the moment. We know that gun crime disables communities uh, in a big way. Uh, people are vulnerable and they're scared, and we understand that, and they're extremely intimidated by, by what is happening. Um, I would just go along with, with what Nick has said, that we, we desperately need people to come forward and give us information. We've received information on many gun crimes that have happened uh, of recent times, and a number of people are facing trial and with the help of these witnesses uh, and forensic expertise they will go to jail for the majority of their life. We need people to come forward and we need, also need to appeal for calm and I once again appeal for calm from the communities of Bermuda. These, resolve, these uh, disputes cannot be resolved by guns, that is just the wrong path. We can mediate Mediation is the way forward, and if people wish to, to engage in mediation, we can facilitate that and help that happen. But resolving disputes with guns really can't be the right way forward. Once again, a family has lost a loved one, and they'll be grieving um, for his death. I once again appeal that uh, we, we can go forward, but the way forward is not by using guns. May I just what? also add that um that this morning we took a 31-year-old uh, male from Pembroke Parish into custody and he has been arrested in relation to this murder. Uh, we are still seeking uh, other persons to provide updates on that as, as appropriate. Are you getting good help from this one? Sorry? Are you getting good help in this case? Yeah, a number of people, as uh, Jimmy Spencer said, a number of people have come forward. Uh, and, uh, and as you'll see uh, behind us, um, this, this area is covered with close-circuit television. And clearly that is a great asset to uh, law enforcement. Any connection between this uh, tragedy and the shooting that took place at the boat club on the North Shore? 
Um, well, clearly that shooting took place 20 minutes before this, so we are looking at potential connections, but at the moment there is nothing obvious to connect the two together. You can tell us an update on the 21-year-old shooting. Is anyone been arrested with that one? No, not as yet. We're continuing to, to, uh, to progress that inquiry, and that is actively being uh, investigated from the serious crime unit as well. Chief Inspector, how many times was Mr. Wallen shot and with what type of weapon? Now, I, I'm not at liberty to disclose those details. Uh, forensic autopsy is going to be conducted uh, on Wednesday, uh, and uh, we don't generally release, uh, release that type of information in any event. But suffice to say, he was shot multiple times. Can you say how he was conveyed to the hospital? Was he taken by friends who were in the speed wheel? He was wheel? taken in a private car. A private car, and uh, you said the car was recovered at a later uh, time. When was that and where was that? Uh, the, the car we believe uh, that was used in the shooting was recovered on Glebe Road this morning. What type of car is it? Uh, I don't wish to disclose it in those type of details at this point. You say you have someone else in custody uh, taken this morning. Do you believe that person is, is, is that person being treated as a prime suspect, the shooter, or an accomplice? Maybe? Well, obviously we have reasonable grounds to have arrested him in this matter, and uh, we're continuing to progress that, to progress that to determine the, the nature of the presence of him. Where was the nearest police patrol car when this happened? I don't have that information at this point, Brian. Suffice to say, this is, as you can appreciate, a, a heavily patrolled area, uh, and, and checks are called in on a regular basis um, for, for this very location. Are police working on the assumption of one shooter or two? I'm sorry, I'm not Are police working on the assumption of one shooter or two? Uh, we, uh, it, with indication that, that there are two shooters at this point. Any connection to Prince of the shot just around the corner on Friday? Uh, that is uh, another matter that we are we are looking to determine if there are any links, uh, and that is also being progressed as we speak. Considering both of them are uh, seen by the community to be top members of a gang, is there concern that there will be a lot of retaliation in the coming week? Um, yeah, and as I said earlier, we, we're hoping that that isn't the case. We understand that these disputes um, are often settled in this way, and once again, we, we and I personally appeal for calm, and if mediation can resolve these matters, then, then we can help facilitate that. But we are hoping that um, there is no further violence. Once again, a heavy police response will be uh, out in this area and in and other known hotspot areas within the uh, Bermuda. The shooting that happened at the, uh, the boat club, are there any further details about that? Is it, was it a case of people turning up on bikes and shooting at the boat club from the outside, or was the man shot inside? Uh, no, the uh, the victims were shot in the car park of the, of the club. Uh, by, by persons we have yet to identify. I don't, I don't wish to disclose too many details on that at this point. Sorry, you said victims, as in plural? Victim, sorry. Okay, sorry. This area, since this murder is a timber box, can police realistically keep a lid on it? Um, well, we do our very best to do that, and as you can see by the first presence now, you, you, you may argue that's, that, that's too late for this man. Um, Clearly, he's suddenly he's uh, he's now been murdered. But we um, we are continuing to patrol this area heavily, and will continue in the future to ensure that these areas are patrolled regularly by officers. It is rumored that Mr. Rollins was preparing to exit from Europe, exit the game. Um, Police have any information? That certainly is the information that that, that that we have now. But clearly, this is being uh, viewed as gang-related. Yes, I think I think uh, we can speculate, but but. But the, um, the hypothesis that we're going on is that, that it is gang related. Do you think that by a rival gang, the, the uh, assailants? Well, I got, that, that really is something, yeah, this, is, this is less than 24 hours since the murder, and I think to speculate on, on that, that detail would be, uh, would be wrong at this time. Any final there, questions? Uh, we yeah, are there's receiving... a forward going around the island uh, that police shot Rollins. Would you like to comment on that? Uh, that, that, is, that is totally untrue. We are receiving reports that there were many other locations of shootings last evening. Can you confirm or deny? No, we're, we're aware of the two shootings that we've referred to, and we're not aware of any other shootings. Clearly, if there were other shootings, then, then, then we'd, we'd appeal for people to come forward and, um, and give us that information, because any information, no matter how small, um, may just link together to uh, provide that, uh, that piece of the jigsaw that we valuably need. There are also rumors that I... Uh, 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 how long So how long? How long um, I, I haven't got the actual times. Um, I would anticipate where the location is that the police are on the scene extremely quickly, but, but in terms of the time, I can't give you that at the moment.
certainly not 15 minutes, it was a lot less than that. We've received reports that uh, the father, Terry Puckerman, was beaten this morning in relation to this latest murder. Can you come around or not? I don't think we can comment on that.